Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. And we are talking about the New Balance More V4. And if we're talking about cushion, Meg, that's right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, I love some cushion, I love some stack height, and this Fresh Foam More V4 brings it. And before we get into that, we're gonna ask you to subscribe, so make sure you hit that subscription button, and if you really wanna be a cool kid, hit the bell. That way, you are also going to get alert anytime that we post a video, which, of course, you want. All right, so Meg, this is a pretty simple shoe, but it was one of your favorite shoes from last year. One of the shoes that I think you put the most miles in in that version right there. Yeah, so I love the V3. It kind of came out of nowhere for us. Like I don't remember the more one or two. You don't want to remember them, they were bricks. This was an amazing max cushion shoe. In fact, I think we said it out hoka hoka at out the Out hoka hoka. Yeah, so yeah. we were pretty pumped and I was very excited when I saw this new version because tell me this white on white colorway is not beautiful. Right, but before we get into that, didn't you maybe wear test some versions of this shoe in between? Yeah, so I had the more V4. I don't know if it was the final product or not, but I had a version of it for several months now, so I have had the opportunity to log hundreds and hundreds of miles in the shoe and and you've even worn the more V6. It might be on my feet right now. When you look at this shoe, what you're looking for as a runner for this shoe is that max comfort, max cushion. This is that shoe when you step in, you get that plush feel for miles on miles on miles. Sometimes there's a trade off with that. Sometimes when you get the really heavy plush shoes, you're not getting the responsiveness. What I think is kind of cool about this shoe is you can kind of feel of responsiveness to this fresh foam. Now that's one of the reasons why we kind of said it out hokid hoka, the foam is the secret sauce. Even though it is like a lot of foam and a lot of stack here, it is quite bouncy. It's soft, but it gives in the right places. And I do feel like you get a nice roll through and like some decent pop where you don't feel like you have to slog in these. You can actually pick up the pace. Yeah, that was the interesting thing for me, even though the shoe is a little heavier and we'll get into that in a second. I did feel like I could kind of pick up paces in it. Like it doesn't feel dead under the forefoot. Right in the bottom, you'll notice that they cut out some of this foam here. So that is not only to reduce the weight, which didn't exactly happen, but also upon landing, this spreads a little bit and it adds some stability and also just overall comfort. And yeah, we're ride. seeing that split in some other New Balance shoes like the SE Trainer and in the uh, SE Elite that we'll be seeing. Just this idea of it being able to plateau out or flatten out and then bounce back into shape to give you that little bit of energy return. Let's go over the upper a little bit, Meg. It's kind of a standard mesh upper. Yeah, there's not a ton to talk about. Um, it's got some reinforcement here through the midfoot with this uh, overlay here. So you do get a really nice lockdown. The padding is still pretty plush around the collar. Um, it is a little bit lighter in the tongue. The last version was kind of like a thicker one, but it's still like you get that step in and it just feels like plush comfort. See how wide the shoe is? It's super duper wide. And so my narrow foot, which has been compared to a pencil, slides in here and I have to really tighten up this throat to get a good fit. And I still have plenty of room in the toe box. So we'll have wide foot Jared come in here in a second and talk about his experience in this shoe. I might even have him try this on uh, to see what he thinks. But let's get down to the magic sauce. It's this Fresh Foam X. Yeah, so this is their lightest and softest iteration of this foam. So it's still Fresh Foam, but a different sort of compound. Um, I really love it. I Like we talked about a little bit earlier, it's light, it's bouncy, and it is squishy, but again, it does have that responsiveness. It comes up a little bit over the foot, so you're gonna see it's actually a 34, 30 uh, drop, so four millimeter drop. It seems like it'd be more than that, doesn't it? Yeah. But your foot kind of sits down into the foam, which gives it a very stable feeling. Like that was one of the things that I was kind of surprised about. This shoe is really stable. And there's lots of rubber on the outsole, so it's gonna be durable. One of my favorite things about this shoe though, Meg, how often do you hear this? It went from 165 last year to 150 now, yeah. which is kind of insane for this much cushion. 
I don't think you can find another max cushion shoe on the market that's as good as this for that price. I have to agree. So one thing we didn't cover was the weight. This is a little bit of a knock. I think it runs a little lighter than you're gonna hear the numbers, but for a size 10 and a half, mine weighs 11.4 or 324 grams, which is certainly on the heavier side, but it doesn't feel that heavy on the foot, does it? No, uh, my women's seven and a half came in at 8.78 ounces or 249 grams, which is about a half ounce heavier than the previous version. But like Thomas was saying, I you don't really notice it on the foot. As promised, we're gonna bring Jared in now to talk about the shoe a little bit and talk about the width. We got Jared here, our resident wide foot reviewer who has a foot shaped like Barney Rubble. I mean, who's the modern equivalent of your foot shape? Would it be a hobbit from Lord of the Rings? Or is I that don't even know. I mean, Barney it's Rubble like, isn't the worst uh, like tourist comparisons. All right, I'll take it. I think that this is the golden standard of Max Cushion shoes. It really is. The additional uh, Fresh Foam X in here it feels so good. It feels softer uh, under the heel and it really is noticeable. I think they added a millimeter or two, but it makes a difference. Let's talk about the fit though. Everybody's going to want to know, does it fit your flipper? So V3, I think was one of the most accommodating wide shoes there was. The upper actually, I thought was almost a little bit sloppy. Uh, they kind of fixed that here with this lateral sidewall that you were talking about. It comes up almost above the foot. Oh, it's above the foot. Yeah, so it helps, you know, keeping your foot in there. It does present a little bit of a problem in that it doesn't allow, you know, much uh, stretching or expansion. It really kind of just locks it in there. So did you have a problem with that though? I noticed it on the first couple runs. Um, so people who felt like they could go with the standard width on the V3, I think you're going to want to get the wide, the 2E on the V4, uh, just for that additional comfort. Overall, the fit was good. Yeah, the fit was good. Um, and the ride is phenomenal. This is probably the most cushioned, most comfy shoe that I, that I have in my collection. We're really digging this shoe. Check it out. We're gonna be getting more miles in it, but we've already put in tons of miles. As you know, Megan's probably got like a thousand miles in various <laughs> iterations of the more V4 and future I'm, more before. I'm over 50. You're over 50 yeah. already? All right, I'm, I'm right around 25, 30 in this. Like I said, my only complaint is it might have too much room for my narrow foot. You're saying it's just right. Yeah, my only complaint might be that it just might be a little too heavy. I know Meg's gonna, what color she would give it. I know, I have an idea what color you give it. It's, it's green, there's no question about it. As far as New Balance goes this year, this is one of my favorite shoes from New Balance. I think this and the SE Trainer are really are fun shoes. It's so weird that they're so close together, but those are probably my two favorites so far. All right, so that's it for the more V4. I think we all gave it a big thumbs up. If you could give us a thumbs up and a like on this video, that would be great. And even if you wanna do better, go ahead and subscribe. What else should they do? Should they check us out on Instagram? Yeah, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Strava. We've Strava, we've got Strava. Yeah and listen to our podcast, The Drop, and we have our bi-weekly podcast, Fuel for the Soul, where we talk about nutrition and performance with uh, Megan Featherston. So check it out in all the places and like, dang, that's it. Bye. Oh, bam. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mine weighs 11.42 ounces or 349, no. All right, hold on. <laughs> 11.4, 324. 324. All right.